I think there's a lot of continuity. I don't know that uh, the dates, conquest to uh, confederation, uh, work the same way for the rural history of Quebec or, or anywhere else really because the chronology is made by um, as uh, the Quebec geographer Corville mentioned uh, by a reality different from the one the people of uh, rural Quebec experienced. Uh, the chronology that we often go with is a chronology based on a transatlantic world that these people had very little contact with. So, um, having said that, a great deal of continuity between New France into the 19th century as far as the rural world, world went. So, the other thing to remember about um, New France that became Quebec in 1763 is that there's various parts of the St. Lawrence Valley. The area around Montreal has a different historical and geographical climatic experience than the people around Quebec City where I studied. Um, this is well known in Quebec, of course. Um, the St. Lawrence Valley is, is long and narrow and goes from southwest to northeast and so there's a um, great deal of uh, much more um, potential for agriculture in the Montreal Plain than there is, say, around Quebec City or Beauce County, which I studied, uh, 70 kilometers south of Quebec. So um, you could say general things about the rural experience that might make more sense in the Montreal Plain than it would in, uh, in uh, Quebec City or the Beauce. But um, from what I saw, um, there was a transition out of a wheat economy that peasants from France naturally gravitated towards and I think today France is still a major wheat exporting or wheat growing country. So uh, people slowly changed the, their agricultural practices, um, partly I think because they were forced to by the end of the French regime, um, from less on wheat and more on the kinds of crops that are more suitable to their, their region. Uh, the Bokes, for example, they didn't have a great deal of success with wheat, so they went into more potatoes and then eventually dairying in the 19th century. Um, so, what could you say about them? Uh, number one, there was a big increase in wheat production from Lower Canada, the end of the French regime into the early 19th century, but at the same time the population doubled every 25 years, so the amount of surplus that got produced often got consumed, so there's a, a, a trajectory of a population expanding and uh, the amount of wheat being produced is not expanding at the same rate. So. Uh, people look at that and say, was there an agricultural crisis because of it, or um, what was the issue? In addition, there was the natural disasters that every farmer that grows wheat or any other kind of crop would know, uh, rust, hessian wheat fly, all of these things. So the question became is, you know, how did people in rural Quebec make the uh, transition from the agriculture that they brought with them from uh, France and pr practiced over several generations to the one that uh, they developed by the mid-19th century.